Hey, what's up? This is Rodney and I'm back. Um, I just basically wanted to address this whole Cincinnati Zoo incident that happened with this little boy. So for those who don't know, um, this little boy fell into a gorilla's habitat um, at the Cincinnati Zoo. Um, the zoo officials took it upon themselves to kill the zoo because they figured if they would have uh, shot the gorilla with the tranquilizer, that would have taken about 10 to 15 minutes to kick in. Within 10 to 15 minutes, that little boy's head could have been ripped off, ripped off arms, thrown in opposite directions and everything. Now, everybody's up in arms because people feel as though um, the parents or the guardians over the little boy should have some type of, um, what's the, what, what, what the fuck is it called? Um, charges brought against them for neglect. Um, some people are, you know, upset because the gorilla died and I guess it's like one of the last, uh, one of their, uh, of the, uh, I think it's like a silverback gorilla or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Um, at the end of the day, for me, it doesn't matter how that little boy got into that gorilla pit as far as even if the parents was, didn't watch him for five seconds. And the reason why I say that is because, listen to me. I work in retail, and every day I hear parents or guardians, you know, Tommy, where's your ass? Where, where, where are you at? Ashley, get your ass over here. Or they could be looking through some clothes. I've had this happen before plenty of times. Parents, the child could be sitting right by the parent. The parent could be digging through some clothes. Within five seconds, y'all, the child is across the room in the toy section playing. Oh my God, Ashley. And I'm like, ma'am, she, she's over there in the toys. Like she's the maid all the way across the room. One thing that pisses me off is when people try to act like that's never happened to them. I don't have kids, but I'm almost pretty goddamn sure that everyone has had to yell for their child because they took their eyes off of their child for five seconds. You don't know what the case may be of how this little boy got into this, you know, gorilla's home. Now I will say this much. Baby, y'all need to watch. <laughs> the little boy needs to watch. Baby, I don't know his name. I'm going to call him um, Aladdin because I think he was Indian or something. Aladdin, next time when you go in people's houses without knocking, this is what can happen. You can almost get your ass whooped. So next, hopefully Aladdin, this is a lesson learned. Stay your ass, stay your ass out of people's house. Because when you go into somebody's house unannounced, your ass get drugged through water like you did. Now, with that being said, you don't know what the parents were doing. They could have had three other kids. They could have been down to tie another one of their, one of their child's shoe within five seconds. Little Aladdin, the crawled. They said this little. They said this little motherfucker crawled over a wire, through some wires, and over a wall. Now, with that being said, if all this shit is blocking this gorilla from us then that should let you know this gorilla might be a little bit dangerous. It's, it's, it's not the same thing as when you take your children to the zoo and they get to go to the petting part of the zoo and touch the goats and all that stuff. Those animals, they probably say, you know, these are pretty much harmless. But when you have wires and walls blocking your ass, they pretty much probably figured, okay, this gorilla is going to demolish this little boy in a little bit, you know? Um, I think When I think of people that work at a zoo, I don't think of people who hate animals. I'm not an animal lover. But when I think of people at the zoo, I don't think the, the last thing that they would want to do is to hurt an animal at the zoo. And if these people tell you, it's not like the janitor made the fucking call or the little, the little motherfucker at the door taking the tickets. This, this, the answer to this solution had to come from management above, above, above. Like, I don't think they wanted to do this, but to protect the child, they didn't have a choice. If it was your child, regardless of how the child got into that cage, you will want them to try to save your child to do whatever they can do to make sure your child's head is not ripped off by this motherfucking gorilla. I don't understand why people don't understand that this was a human being inside of this cage. And I saw something on Instagram the other day, these, these fucking white people... Um, holding up poster signs and it was like a little boy saying you need to watch your spar little brat and then the mama was like gorillas lives matter too just like bullshit like at the end of the day I don't give a damn if the mama had said stay right here I'm about to go to the restroom <laughs> the 
That boy being in that that gorilla's habitat, that was a reason enough to say, you know what, we need to do whatever we can do to protect this boy. Now, if that's the case, if the mother says, stay right here, I'm about to go to the restroom, or stay right here, I'm about to go to the gift shop, that's completely different. But my whole thing is, we don't know what she was doing or what he was doing to say how that little boy got into that, got, got, in that, got, got into that gorilla's home. That's all I'm saying. We don't know the full story. What we do know is that the little boy somehow got his bad ass inside of that um gorilla's house and he he and the dude thought okay he about to he about to demolish this little motherfucker so we need to do what we we need to do what we need to do in order to protect this little boy that's all we know and i'm for that i'm for that all the way and that's all i have to say <laughs>